According to a journal of pediatric study, by the age of 23, 41% of teens and young adults are arrested more than once for something other than a minor traffic violation. Our city has an exciting program that works to mentor and serve over a thousand youth each year. The Lakeland Police Athletic League has many programs to prevent juvenile crime and violence. Through their crime prevention programs, their mission is to fill playgrounds, not prisons. Powell is one of the stronger crime prevention programs, probably one of the number one uh, uh, crime prevention programs in our community. Um, in America, uh, between the hours of 3 and 8 p.m., uh, juvenile crime is a, at an all-time high. And so PAL is uh, a, a great aftercare program that helps keep kids off the street. Um, they teach you a lot about um, what you need to do to graduate high school and what you need to do when going into college, like um, doing applications and deadlines. They teach you um, a lot about staying on track and getting good grades. Well, I think they gain a lot of self-image. They learn, gain a lot of self-respect for themselves. They also gain and learn how to be a family to each other, and they learn self-preservation also. The Powell Mentoring Program, it's like another family. They help me strive for a better future. It's good for them. It allows them to uh, get together with other members of the community, show their, uh, their ability to work together as a team, and uh, do what's right for the community and help each other out. On August 1st, 2015, this vacant building became the new home for the Lakeland Police Athletic League. This 3,511 square foot facility serves 200 youth. The facility also has a computer room, activity room, kitchen, athletic offices, and a basketball court. So we have our different programs such as the after school program, our football and cheer, track and field, different programs that allow the kids to have a safe haven, a place that they can call a home uh, and be able to engage in fun uh, activities. But as Director Tim Abram explains, the Lakeland Police Department provides limited funding, so PAL has to be creative in finding ways to keep these activities and programs going. Because of a crime prevention program, get to get kids off the street, we have to fundraise. And so uh, we have to offer scholarships uh, for low-income families who can't afford the program. Uh, because, you know, our number one goal is to get kids off the street. You know, we can't discriminate between who has money and who doesn't. So the fundraisers help us to provide operational dollars so that we can continue uh, providing the quality services that we do to the kids that are in the program. One of PAL's biggest fundraising events was held on August 22nd. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers played a benefit game against our very own Lakeland police officers. Just, you know, giving back to the community because, I mean, it's great to come back and give back. I mean, it's good because the same opportunity was given to me when I was young, the same age. The reason why it was important for me to play in the game and for Lakeland to play in the game is to show the community that we like to get together uh, with anybody out there just to kind of have a good team sportsmanship game, be competitive out there and show the community that when we're off duty we just like to have fun like everybody else. It's fundraisers like this one that help the Police Athletic League continue their programs for local students. Powell is always looking for new ways in the community to raise money for its exciting programs. On January 25th, Lakeland's newest restaurant, Glory Days Grill, Join forces with the Police Athletic League for a fundraiser. Part of the proceeds from 4 to 8 p.m. were donated to PAL's programs. Traditionally, when a restaurant's opened um, in a community, they choose a charity or a cause to support and provide proceeds back to that organization in exchange for help in introducing that restaurant to the community. So after meeting with uh, Mr. Tim Abram, uh, fell in love with what they do, uh, the work they do in our community uh, for uh, the children of Lakeland. So uh, they seem like a natural choice uh, for us. January 9th was Powell's football and cheerleading banquet. These kids were rewarded for all their hard work this year. It's plain to see this group loves having fun both on and off the field. You get to connect with new people and meet people. It's like having a second family and it's like really fun meeting new people. And we go to all these places and it's just connecting with a bunch of people. It's important for my um, child and individually to be involved in PAL simply because it gives her something to do in a positive manner and I know where she is at all times and I know that she's doing something positive and that she's being properly supervised. I like being a part of PAL because they teach you to grow up and be a man and they teach you life lessons to get you by in your life and it's just a really nice program to be in. My favorite thing is that everybody treats me so nice. 
This program is not all about sports and after school care. Students involved in PAL have the opportunity to travel for competitions and college visits. They represent the organization at community events such as this year's Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. They can also earn community service hours for volunteering in the community. Kids think that the Police Athletic League is just all athletics. But we do have mentoring and educational programs. Uh, uh, kids who um, attend uh, middle school can come after school here. We provide healthy snacks and we, we provide a meal. Uh, if that kid happens to be in one of our programs like football or basketball or track and field, we'll feed them dinner at 5 o'clock. And then at 6 o'clock they go right to practice. So, you know, there are so many benefits that comes with um, being a part of Lakeland Powell Chapter. So I do encourage as many youth, uh, like I said, ages 4 through 18 to participate, uh, give back to your community, and be a part of something great. This is my first year here, and I want to welcome everybody to come join us. The Lakeland Police Athletic League's programs continue to expand each year. With help from the City of Lakeland, the Lakeland Police Department, local businesses, and those in the community, they're hoping today's youth become leaders now and in the future. Derek Brooks, TSC News. Thank you.